So in this video, you learn how to enable USB debugging on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So the first step when it comes to enabling USB debugging is to ensure that you have developer options enabled. And in order for you to enable developer options, you want to start by opening the settings app. And then in settings, you want to scroll and select about phone. Then you want to tap on software information. And then you should locate your build number tap on it seven times to start enabling developer options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you have a screen type, lock screen type, you'll need to confirm and then select allow or okay and developer mode has been enabled. Once it's been turned on, you want to navigate back to the main settings menu and then you want to scroll down and select developer options. And so now the next step in order for you to turn on USB debugging is to look for the option in this menu. So just scroll and look for USB debugging. And then once you've located it, you should see it listed here. So as you can see, USB debugging is grayed out and this is because auto blocker is enabled. So you'll have to go back to the main settings menu, select security and privacy, look for auto blocker, and just tap on the toggle to turn it off. And then once it's been turned off, you want to go back to USB debugging. And this time you should see it's no longer grayed out and it's now visible for you to be able to tap on the toggle so that you can turn it on. So again, just tap on the toggle, confirm that you wish to enable it. And then once you've done that, USB debugging has been successfully turned on on your S25. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.